Hi guys, hello and welcome back again to another video. This is Coach Katya and for today I'll just be talking about some workout or exercise jargons or just their common terminologies. First would be your sets and reps. A lot of people interchange these two words, especially those who are just beginning their fitness journeys. I'll define first the sets. One set comprises a number of reps. In other words, your set is a cycle of the repetitions that you made for an exercise. And then your reps from the word itself, the repetition, the times you repeat an exercise. For example, you do 12 reps of squats. Each squat there is your repetition. And then those whole 12 reps is your one set. Then the difference here is that when you're doing one whole set, those 12 repetitions of your squats shouldn't have any rests in between or otherwise you're not doing it properly. And then when you're doing in between sets, there may be a quick rest or an active rest in between those sets. The next word is the range of motion. It is how far a joint could move. For example, I'll be doing a squat with a full range of motion. So as you can see here, my feet are remained flat and my legs go down below parallel to the floor. Even when I'm doing this overhead squat wherein there is an extra demand for the shoulder joint. And then here's another video of me doing it with a limited range of motion. For this video, you can see my heels lifting because there are really a lot of people who have limited range of motions for their ankle joints and this is how it tends to look like when they squat. Some people have limited range of motion on their specific joints. Just like the example that I did, one is a squat with a full range of motion and then the other one has limited range of motion. Next is failure. It could mean two things. First would be your technical failure or when you're doing exercises with already improper forms or very limited range of motions or when you're cheating your exercises with very bad form. That's what you call technical failure. And sometimes a lot of people cheat their exercises when it's already too hard for them and they still want to do it. Or some people call it the ego lift. The next one is your muscular failure or your muscle failure. It is when you're able to do it with proper form but it's just that your muscles already gave up and unable to lift the weight or whatever you're lifting. Next is explosiveness or explosive or explode. These are commonly seen in power exercises or exercises that involves jumping or explosive movements just like what you see in the video. So this is Ben Adamos, he's a PBA draftee and he's preparing for his PBA draft. And then here I am doing a slow-mo snatch which is also an explosive exercise. So these are just two examples of explosive exercises or exercises with, with explosive movements because usually exercises are executed in a controlled manner. Although these explosive exercises are, must also be done in a controlled manner in order to lessen the risk for injuries, explosive exercises usually comprises of quick bursts of movements, such as this. And one more, not everyone can do explosive exercises. They're not for beginners and they're for trained athletes already. And the last two words are your program and your routine. Commonly, people interchange this as well. Your routine is just basically what you did for the whole hour of training if you train for an hour. And then your program is more of a training calendar or close to that. And commonly, people change their programs every month or two for them to have progressive overload and other principles of training. So that's it for the video. If you have any other exercise jargons that are unfamiliar with you, you can always just message me and I'll answer right away. Thank you for watching. I'll see you again on my next ones. Goodbye.